This is Stephen Brown Lee County Extension Service and I'm doing a field visit today. Lee County is in Southwest Florida. Look behind me and you'll see a healthy oak tree planted in the landscape about three or four years ago. We're going to walk around to the tree that's not in such good health. Here it is. That one right there straight ahead of us. This one has a reduced canopy. It has a lot of fallen leaves. See that right there? Doesn't look good. The trunk kind of look worn out and stressed. I don't normally like this trunk when I see a young tree growing. You see all of that there? All right, one other thing I like to do is to use my handy pick here and figure out if the tree was planted too deeply. And you can see some roots here. See that root? That means really wasn't planted. It was planted okay. And you can see the flare here. So it may have been a little deep but not necessarily too deep. So there's a flare coming out. At least I can feel it. And there's a major root here. There, there's a root there, so it's okay there. But one thing you do notice here is that this soil is nice, rich, and black. And look at this. See that? There's a lot of water that's in this soil. Now, Although it's summer, it hasn't rained in about two days at this site. And we still have water that I can squeeze out of here. So this is a very organic mix that has the potential of storing water. We're going to go to the edge of this circle and just see what kind of soil, different kind of soil. See that there? This is a sandier composition. And in my other hand, this is a black composition. This one has more organic matter. This one has less organic matter. This one will accumulate water much more readily. Water will have a hard time passing from this zone into this zone. When it's in this zone, the darker zone, there is much more water here and the roots are in an uncomfortable position because the roots should not be saturated. When it's in this soil, it tends to rot. It doesn't breathe because it does need oxygen. And what happened is the tree can decline. So it would have been better to have kept that tree in this particular soil because this soil drains better. There's a, even a piece of rock right there and less water would accumulate here. Plus, it's almost the soil that the tree really will have to deal with if it wants to mature, is to get into this soil that's around the organic matter. So in this dark area, water is trapped. The roots are there when the tree was planted and they have a hard time expanding. They suffer the canopy, the tree itself, begin to wither and doesn't do very well leaves can get diseased, they fall, the canopy doesn't expand out and the tree is a sickly tree and probably will stay this way unless beneath it becomes or is corrected. That's the problem and that's the solution. Correct the soil and you should correct the top. This tree, it may be too late, so there may have to be a replacement for this particular tree. If you want to put a new tree in there, I suggest don't imitate what has happened in the past. From South Florida, Stephen Brown, Lee County Extension Service. And remember, there is always something new to learn in the landscape. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.